hey guys happy friday today is september 15th um, my name is michelle anna if you are tuning into my channel for the very first time i um wow where do i even start <laughs> so i typically try to develop topics and stuff like that and get feedback from you guys spend time with it and and then like film the video but this one i just felt like grabbing my camera my vlogging camera and just talking about what i wanted to talk about as raw in its raw nature um and i literally was just spending time with the lord reading my bible and um just uh listening to what i'm uh, not listening but just reading uh one of the devotionals today and um there were three things that i got from that and it was just you know god all he wants from us is to love him please him and serve him and i think that sometimes we make our relationship with god so complicated and it's really not that complicated um it's actually very simple um, but that's not even what this video is about. You see, it's like something in my eye. I have no makeup on except like mascara and, um, some brow stuff. But this is, this topic is so timely because my anniversary or what, you know, what, where I would have celebrated six years of marriage with Curtis. Um, I don't even know how to say that like how do i even say that on sunday september 17th it would have been six years of marriage uh with curtis and you know this year is filled with a lot of first time events um and there was a lot of anticipation um for me for my heart for myself as it relates to just these dates coming up at the end of the year specifically and i think that anyone who has ever lost anybody um through whatever means death divorce separation uh long distance whatever spending the holidays without this person is always uh difficult especially the first time um you know i've experienced the holidays without curtis one time but it was deployment it was a deployment and like you know we were able to talk uh but this is the first time that i'm experiencing obviously september 17th for the first time by myself and so this video is all about um like i got it clear as day it's to the wife from a widow and obviously me being the widow uh but having the having had the experience of being a wife and knowing what that's all about and being married for five years and some change really allowed me and granted me access to this whole world of what it means to be a wife what it means to um love the way that that christ loves and to really deny yourself um in a way where it's humbling in a way where it's it's um a serving heart and so a lot of this content like this particular video i hope it's not everywhere i just want the holy spirit to to lead me and guide me because i really want this to be there's something in my eye seriously here we go um i wanted to address three different things so to the newlywed wife so this video is is dedicated to the wife if you're a wife oh mind you there's gonna be noise throughout the background because um i live with my family so y'all know the deal this video is for the wives this is for you um I want you to be able to even if it's, it's a glimpse of my experience i want i want you to see yourself in it and just be able to take something out of it and 
either apply it to your life or tell a friend about it or something and so the first thing that i wanted to talk about was the newlywed wife i really honestly jotted these things down really quick uh the newlywed wife i know exactly where you're at like i've been there i've experienced uh the the highs of coming out of your wedding and coming out of the the honeymoon and just all of that it's exciting um you're in for a ride uh man you just married the man of your dreams hopefully right and the man that god has put into your life and what i want to tell the newlywed wife is you're in for a ride <laughs> you're in for a ride um there are beautiful rewards stored in marriage um there are beautiful sacrifices stored in marriage but the sacrifice does go both ways but sometimes sometimes it feels like you're the one sacrificing a whole lot more um but just always keep in mind that that although the sacrifice may feel so costly and so draining um i want you to always remember this moment in your life the experience the experience of being able to become one in covenant with your husband always draw back from this moment always remember like wow god you allowed for me to become one with this man you gave him to me i prayed about it you made it happen in the way that you willed it to happen i allowed you to just have your hands all in this and so god like i'm gonna draw back always from this moment and so yeah newlywed wife like you're in for a ride and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be hard there are gonna be tears but there's gonna be joy um there's going to be annoying moments with your husband i'll tell you that i'm not gonna lie though i remember in the very beginning i was just so like oh my god like i'm so into this like but then like months later i figured out like man he's kind of annoying sometimes <laughs> And that's okay if you don't want to admit it. It's all good. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it all. Um, but it's going to be a fun ride. And let's just let God write your story of your marriage. Let him do it. Let him do it because it's going to be beautiful. All right. So the next category of wives that I want to address are the more seasoned wives. Uh, the ones that have been married for, you know, a couple years, you you know, you're into it. Um, I want to address you guys because I feel like that's kind of a category that I was in. And I know the feeling. Um, you've probably been through some things. God has taken you through those things. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you probably thought you were never going to get through them, but you did. You guys survived. And... Um, you have probably seen and experienced a lot of the rewards that come with marriage and have been able to see God work in your husband and in yourself. Um, you've probably seen a lot of growth, a lot of love being birthed within the two of you. Um, and I just want to encourage you to also continue to draw back from the moments that you have that you and your husband have overcome that you and your husband have seen god manifest in your life through the miracles through the through the hurdles through whatever whatever it is that you guys have been through you guys have have been able to see god work through all of those things through every single day of the oneness that you guys carry so i just want to say i'm so proud of you i want to say that it's not easy and I get it <laughs> I get all of it <laughs> um, and specifically you know I know what it feels like to be a military wife and have to deal with deployment and and super long hours and the shift in schedules and all I know all of that so I commend you to specifically military wives it's not easy um, living that life it's not um, 
but to once again to the seasoned wives I just want to say that I am proud of you for being able to overcome and just survive <laughs> being married for as long as you have the odds are against you um the odds are against you and the world is against you but guess what as long as you continue to keep god in the center of your marriage you will make it and and you will um you will see all the rewards and reap all the rewards that you have sown into your marriage so i just want to say continue loving hard continue doing what you're doing and continue trusting god in your marriage because he's he's got you guys <sighs> and now gosh am i like sweating gosh and now i want to address the wife that that is fighting for her marriage that has prayed day in and day out and is tired i want to address the wife that feels like there's no more hope um for your marriage like you've done all you can and at this point it's literally like there's nothing you can do i want to tell you that you are not alone there's a lot a lot of women in this entire universe that are in your shoes so one thing you're not alone there's an army of angels and of other women interceding on your behalf me included i am praying for you um my heart's desire is always to one of the things that God has put into my heart is to pr pray for marriages that are broken, to pray for women that are fighting for their marriage. And that's a burden that God has put in my heart. And so I want to tell you that you're not alone. I am praying for you. What God has put together, no man shall ever separate. And one thing is for sure, the moment that you surrender your husband into God's hand, the moment that you dethrone your husband from your heart is the moment that God can can allow his will to manifest. And I think that it's important to know that although his will may not be what we want and what we desire it is the perfect will of god and so you may be in this pain you may be fighting for your marriage you may be like god what in the world is happening i did everything right and everything is going wrong right now what is the deal i want to i want to tell you that you're not alone that everything that has happened in your life in, in, in even being a wife hasn't caught God by surprise and I love that that God has already written this out he's already written your story and the pain that you are experiencing now he's rewriting that in your heart one day you will look at that pain and be like God I needed to experience that pain that separation whatever in order for me to come out and tell and express the message of your love that has carried me through that i'm here for you i pray for you and i just want to push you to continue to praying um for your marriage for your husband for your life um i really don't know what else to say other than just don't give up on god he will never give up on you so don't ever give up on him he has waited for us he has called you for this time i know that it sucks that you have to go through this i get it i know it but believe that if god called you to this walk he's gonna take you through it and he is gonna glorify himself through your life and i know that it's probably like i don't know how she's even saying this trust me I know what it feels like for God to take your pain and daily take your pain and allow it to become something beautiful. Unfortunately, my camera is dying. It's at 1%. So I'm going to 
so I have to wrap this up because I don't want this to um I just want this to be raw and real and 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 for it to be a gift for someone even if it's just one person with my wedding anniversary coming up I just want you to hug your spouse a little tighter um tell them that you love them a little more do it for me <laughs> sounds kind of selfish right but there's nothing more beautiful on this earth than experiencing the love of God, a glimpse of the love of God through an individual that decided to just deny themselves and love someone as imperfect as you are. So I hope you enjoy this video and um, I'll see you guys in my next one.